In addition to movies and comics, we do a ton of Make It Real projects on video games. And a few years ago, Riley was really, really into Rainbow Six Siege. So, we made a bunch of projects from it. Welcome to the Hacksmith Vault, where we revisit, revamp, and revise some of your favorite projects from over the years. On this episode, we're doing Rainbow Six Siege. And our first project was the Blitz Shield. This thing was awesome. So the cool thing with this was, it was actually somewhat bulletproof. You can actually see shotgun splatter here, a few bullet holes here and here. Okay, that part's not too bulletproof. And the really neat thing was we had this LED array panel that produced, I think it was over 200,000 lumens. It was so bright, you could actually use it like the strobe in the game and blind people. Nice. In addition to that, we had this really cool display here that was actually like a welding helmet. So it actually dim when you're looking through it so you wouldn't get blinded from the lights. I think you really might want to close your eyes for this one. They're closed. All right. We had a lot of attention to detail on this. There were a little electronics box over here, we had some warning stickers, and even instructions on how to use it. Do it. <laughs> oh, <f> <laughs> Could we not have picked a less like creepy spot to do this? Can you do the rapid flash? Yeah, of course. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. Riley, flash him! Ah. 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 Three, two. One. Oh man, it's in great conditions. Not bulletproof. Good thing we took the batteries out. <laughs> Gone. Wait, no, it's not. Just a front glass. Yeah, it worked. Huge thank you to our YouTube members and Patreon supporters for making this project possible. Did you know they also get access to our videos early? Plus, their supporters also get to vote on new projects, get their comments hearted and read on YouTube, and more. Big thank you to our latest YouTube members and Patreon supporters. Anyway, that was a really fun project, but after that, Riley suggested doing a project that I was kind of confused about. Sledge's hammer. Quite literally, a sledgehammer. I feel like we could just go to the store and buy one of these. But we did actually do some fun stuff when building it. You see, we actually completely machined the head of this hammer on our Tormox CNC machine, and we actually forged the crowbar end ourselves with a real anvil, so one of our first blacksmithing projects. That works pretty good. And then Riley uh, used it to tenderize some meat for lunch one day. Gotta.
Now the next project Riley took on was the Twitch drone. And this is pretty cool. As you can see, we got a little camera here, a little wireless antenna, and these probes, those are actually tasers. So basically, this was a little remote controlled drone that you could drive up to people using this display from a first person view and shock their ankles. A lot of fun but kind of annoying around the shop. First, first test of the Twitch drone. So we got it over there. We ended up putting it on a phone control, so now it's just kinda... Go ahead. Sweet. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Take anything! Oh! Holy shit! <laughs> Take that thing away from me. <laughs> Not that easy to keep moving your head. into me already. There we go. All right, team, here we go. I look like some Rome rats. Be careful, all right? I will. All right, come with me. Finally, for some unreleased content, we actually partially made a remote controlled smoke bomb. I forget why we never actually posted a video on this. But I think the smoke grenade's in here still. We could literally light this. Should we light this? Let's light this. Never before seen content, let's go. Now, I've lost the transmitter for this, so I think we're gonna have to light it the old fashioned way, with a blowtorch. Don't try this at home. You ready? Ooh. Plastic is gonna melt. Oh boy. It's kinda cool. Anyway, let's go closer to the poisonous gas. In addition to projects like these, there are quite a few other Rainbow Six Siege projects that we could do. In fact, there's some that we've actually almost already done. For example, when we did Edith glasses from Spider-Man Far From Home. Oh, that's really smoky. Um, those could actually be used as Warden's glasses pretty easily. Uh, in addition to that, I know a lot of people would love to see us do uh, Monotag Shield. Probably pronounced that wrong. Montagne. Monotag. Basically like the Blitz Shield, but expandable. And finally, another project we almost started was Valkyrie's camera. Basically, this is a 360 degree camera that you have a little display to. But the neat thing was, it was a sticky camera. So literally, you could chuck it and stick it somewhere so you could monitor when guys, bad guy, wow, it's getting really smoky in here. But yeah, Valkyrie camera, that would be a really cool project too. Let us know in the comments below any other Rainbow Six Siege projects you'd like to see us do. Hi, I'm Billy Mays, and if you can't beat your meat with this, then you should stop cooking. Call the number below, and we'll give you not one, but two gigantic meat tenderizer sledgehammers. This deal won't last forever, so please call the number on the bottom of your screen. All right, so it's been like half an hour. 
and the shop is still a hazy green. We uh, probably should have done that outside. <laughs>